Good evening, everyone. You're most welcome to join us all together here. I don't know how many of us there are because it's live stream, uh, so there could be several hundred, who knows, that this evening. It's lovely to be able to come together and to praise God at this hour. This day is also an optional memorial for St. John Paul II, a beloved Pope in most of our living memory. It's interesting the different characters that the Popes bring to their role as Chief Shepherd. His name, of course, came from his predecessors, John XXIII and Paul VI. They were combined by his immediate predecessor, John Paul I, who unfortunately didn't stay very long with us. And then John Paul strode onto the stage. We know Francis has got a very basic and genuine love of the poor. It's a simple man, and that's his shining quality. And there's Benedict with his teaching office. And then John Paul comes along with his great charisma of engaging people, striding out boldly, took the world by storm. A great man and did a huge amount for the Catholic Church. So all the popes bring their own distinctive flavours, if you like, their own contribution given to them by the Holy Spirit. So we remember fondly um, John Paul II. And of course, he became top of the te top ten in this country with his, uh, with his CD. Um, they were, it was made up of extracts from all his many chants and prayers that he'd made around the world. He was a great traveller. And I remember at the time in Guildford going into HMV's store and asking for the CD from Pope John Paul II. And the assistant looked very puzzled and said, who? And I said, Pope John Paul II. And in the end he said, oh, you mean JP too? And so that's how he became known in many circles. But a very popular man with very much amongst the young people as well. So we give thanks to him as we do with all our chief shepherds in their various turns. And for our ministry as priests and bishops in the church but we also give thanks for the faithfulness that is shown throughout the world amongst the 1.3 billion Catholics there are around the world. So we continue that tradition of prayer that came from the Old Testament that Jesus practiced himself, particularly at this hour of the day. We continue that right down the centuries. We join with all those people who are here, all those who've gone before us. As usual, we will commence with the angel Gabriel's salutation to the Blessed Mother of God. In your, our Vespers intercessions, we will also include those that you've sent in today for us to pray for you and to light a candle for those intentions. The hymn um, is the one which is common to both the breviary and to the um, to Universalis tonight. I shall be reciting this as my voice has finally given up. You may, I can't hear the cheering, but I'm sure it might be there in the background. When God made man, he gave him all the earth. So let us commence with the angel Gabriel's words. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
Forthforth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and death be brought to the glories of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When God made man, he gave him all the earth, all growing things with every bird and beast. Then Adam named them at the Lord's command, subdued the greatest of them and the least. In his own image, God created man, and when from dust he fashioned Adam's face, the likeness of his only son was formed, his word incarnate, filled with truth and grace. To God the Father and to Christ his Son, and the blessed Spirit heaven and earth give praise. Creation with tremendous voice cries out, All holy is the mighty Lord of days. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. From the letter to the Romans. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbour for his good, to edify him. For Christ did not please himself, but, as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood, we repeat. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. He made us a line of kings, priests to serve God. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and has washed away our sins with his blood. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord has come to help us, his servants. He has remembered his mercy. God is our loving Father who cares for us and knows all our needs. With confidence we pray. Father, may we find rest in your love. Christ, your Son suffered and died for the church. Be with all Christians who are suffering tonight. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring to the sick your comfort and healing. Strengthen them through the victory of Calvary. Father, may we find rest in your love. Be near us, all, almighty Father, for you alone can save us from the evils that threaten us. Father, may we find rest in your love. Strengthen us in the hour of death. Let us know your peace. Father, may we find rest in your love. Bring the dead into your light. Comfort them with your presence. Father, may we find rest in your love.
and from the prayers you've asked us to offer on your behalf, having been sent into the parish today. We have a prayer request from Dorothy of McIntosh, or Marsh. She gives thanks for the prayer group at Tuesley Manor and for the prayers of my mother, Margaret Pat Marsh. Richard and Hilary Gray, Bronwyn Astor, Mary Tanner, Terry Christie and others for their transformation of my life and return to the church. The next prayer, thanks God for the saintly people in our lives who have helped us on our journey to the eternal kingdom and that we may learn to share the love received through them to others. Ingrid asked for a prayer and her candle to be lit for Noreen Moynihan, who caught pneumonia and is in hospital in Ireland. Another prayer asked for special blessings for our family reunion tomorrow, as we learn to forgive each other and share the love of God with one another. I pray too that COVID will not prevent this union, reunion. A prayer request from Lilias. Please pray for my mother, Marilyn Murphy, who is critically ill. Ingrid asks for another prayer for Lila Ashwood, who is in the Royal Surrey Hospital, suffering from cancer. Prayer sent in to us. Prayer for Raymond Murphy, their father, that the Lord gives him comfort and strength. A prayer for all who work to heal and support the sick, especially in the four hospitals within our parish. We remember always our four Catholic schools in this parish, for all who teach and guide, and for the students as well. We pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, that they may find rest in the Lord. And we pray particularly for our own loved ones who have departed this life. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We now recite the prayer our Saviour Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord God, teach us the lessons of your son's passion and so enable us your people to bear the yoke he makes light for us we make our prayer through our lord jesus christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen and the lord be with you may almighty god bless you all the father the son and the holy spirit amen and finally, we will recite the Salve Regina, but tonight in English, for those who prefer it that way. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. 
To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 